Thanks for joining me today, guys. Oh, man. For those of you who do celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to you guys. And those of you who do celebrate New Year's coming up, Happy New Year. Oh, man, what a holiday season we have so far. A couple of big upsets. Chaos Dwarf of Diam Lord taking over or taking out Crucifer's Chaos Dwarf team where Crucifer just could not buy an injury and a halfling team bamboozling the necromantic team and getting the injuries off getting more blocks than them and was able to move on to the semi-finals a dance getting all the injuries in the world and when you play a dwarf team that's how you want your game to end loads of injuries on the other side so was able to just walk past Nav's undead team, but first, or lastly, I should say, or team taking on this Kislev team, Veliopia, and Bright. So we'll see who's gonna get the better of it in this last quarterfinal match that I'll be covering today. Let's go ahead and get to that game. What a day! What a day indeed. So, in my preliminary prediction, I did say I liked the Kislev team because. Man, you know, Kislev team, when you get enough skills on them, and heck, all they really need is block and wrestle, really, to get themselves started. But once they get that going, then they are absolutely a huge threat to take loads of victories off of unsuspecting opponents. Lockstar, you bamboozler! No, you are bamboozler. <laughs> Sneaking away that 3 plus stunty against tackle, you crazy man. Or team! Howling War Chefs is gonna be coached by Veliopia. Take it on the Kislev team, coached by Bright, the Northern Renaissance. And yes, Kislev team so strong. I mean, when you think about it, once they get a whole bunch of levels on their guys, you know, it's not just the catchers that become ball hawks, the whole darn team becomes ball hawks because of the fact that they all basically start with leap except for the old bear there but still I mean they are just a big danger everywhere you look so <laughs> no Larkstar I'm giving you a lot of credit you're finding these combinations getting those three pluses I mean I mean when you're playing a tier 3 team and even a tier 2 team you gotta find you gotta find the openings and you gotta take the chances and you absolutely found them and I mean just how many people would see that I didn't even see it I probably would have got bamboozled myself he overstretched with his defensive play on your ball and you were able to just squeeze on through and get the hand off potato play worked out even with the white splits I mean just just I mean like it's it's hard to see those combinations but you saw it so there you go Lockstar there's the shout out for you buddy <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this game, though. Catchers without the shirt on. That's how you can tell they're the catchers because no shirts. Who needs shirts, right? That's, well, they get Russell here, and this one's got the dive and catch and the dauntless ability and the dodge, but, I mean, this is going to be the key right here. And he got, he got the wrestle, strip ball, tackle, and also more dive and catch. And they come in here with the dive and catch. And the Dauntless ability with the dodge. And then more catchers here. And uh, you can have up to four of them. So it looks like Kislev is going to have four of the catchers. And this one here with the Blodge and nothing else special. Sure hands with more Blodge. So this is going to be basically the main ball character. This is the real ball hawk there. But as I said before at the beginning of this programming. All of these guys are real ball hawks. And th this is why this lineman has the plus one strength. Does have the frenzy and also the wrestle and tackle ability, so he also is a big one. This and this is why for the kids, the linemen, and maybe even for these blitzers, you take wrestle instead of block for your guys because then you can just be a real menace to try to get to that ball and take take them down. I mean, a lot of the ball carriers will have the block ability, so and you may end up doing more two red die blocks than you like. So with the wrestle ability, it does make things a lot easier to get in there, get that ball out, and go the other way with it. So there you go. Here's another lineman with that wrestle ability. And 
That's why I like this kid's the team. Magic Dome will prevent any change of weather. But yes, he will be facing off against a, a very dangerous Orc team, though. The kids of team does have armor value 8 and hell, these catchers armor value 7. So Orc Blitzers should be a buffet for them. Tackle with that mighty blow and also the piling on for not one, but two here. Well, actually, this one doesn't have mighty blow, but does he really need it? I think this one here, let me just hit the play button real quick. This one here, just going to be the guard ability. Orcs are going to be missing a blitzer, are they? Yeah, it looks like they are going to be missing a blitzer for this match. So, we'll be down one extra guy, but I mean, seriously, all he needs is this, well, this guy right here. And then this guy, he can absolutely get those hurts in on this Kislev team. But as you can kind of see, though, nobody really would tackle on the side of this Orc team. And... That could be the difference right there. The catchers could actually make mincemeat of this orc team. And even moreover, the orc ball carrier here. He's, well, actually, yeah. He's got the plus one moves, plus one strength, sure hands. So he's the main ball carrier. And so you can only really count on this man right there to actually make a lot more of this hits than not. So we'll see, though. Kids of team, he's going to probably get... Some of these hits off on this Orc Blitzer right there. Try to get the fouls off on that man. And then once you take him out, he's the guy ball carrying for this Orc team. And he can't get the hits in himself. So this is this is kind of why I, I, I mean, I, I understand why you take the Orc Blitzers for the ball carrier. But at the same time, this is also the reason why having him as the main ball carrier is not, not going to be ideal at the same time. Because... He, he needs to be in the front line hitting, taking out some of his kids of the team where his other guys may not be as leveled up. And as you see there, the, the other orc guys aren't. Blitz! Oh no! Kislev! And as I said before, Kislevs are never out of position and should be able to leap into position and be able to make this ball pick up a whole lot more difficult to do oh no yes Valiopia is missing more main killer man killers there or main killers there yeah we'll get the blitz off we'll be able to move in and hell he doesn't even need to use long legs he could just simply blitz through get his guys into position get the catcher right there and oh misses the GFI he's gonna reroll that one for sure hopefully he doesn't get one in 36 he doesn't and we should see the catcher get right underneath, I think. Yes, he is. After getting the sixes on the two GFIs necessary, we'll be able to get it on the tackle zone with the four-plus catch. And Veliopia is in big trouble. But thankfully, he does have a shot at maybe getting to that ball. Really stupid, but that's okay. It's not about the troll. It's about this blitz coming up. Will be a two-die blitz. Will be a big hit. No, he's going to have to re-roll that. It will finally get the defender stumbles after using the re-roll. Let's see how the ball is going to bounce now, though. Let's take away the default skills. And the ball is going to land in an okay spot for this or team. After this nice two-die block, though, it will be a great spot after all. And should be able to get the ball pick up straight on afterwards. A little bit of a scare there, but man, Nuffle delivers with a opening excitement for... You viewers out here, so man, <laughs> should have used that diving catch there, so he didn't have to base that blitzer. Yeah, maybe, but you know, if he if he could just if he just survive, if he could just survive that blitz, I think the blitz would, would come regardless, right? It's only got two strength, but yeah, diving catch might be a thing there. Get that catch, and then. Uh, be able to stand up a little bit better but he will go down to the blitz nonetheless and uh, he will be able to cage up pretty hard now Veliopia is going to be the one with the wizard so that's how much the orc team is down in team value in comparison to the Kislev team so orc team could actually get the equalizer if anything happens and might actually be able to get the upper hand if he's able to score here and then stop rub the Kislev team on their offensive possession so we'll see your team now needs to survive this aggression though. Kizdov is going to have on the kickoff due to the blitz. Will it be enough? I'm pretty sure he's going to 
leap in there now. Normally you kind of wait to do this, but this is this is it right here. This is the opportune moment. Here comes the leap. He's gonna miss that three plus, and uh, gonna use the reroll there. Hopefully not get one and nine. He does get one and nine there on the three plus, and he does get he doesn't get it there. Quartermain, thank you for that follow. Really appreciate that. Man, he does not get the leap in there. That actually would have been a two die blitz even. So yeah, that was absolutely would have been something here for this kids of teeth to maybe toot home about him. the catcher didn't even move yet, so ball would have pop, been popped out and he would have had a a four agility man to try to get the ball pick up. Yeah, it's a three plus because it's just the agility. It's just the, it, it just goes against the agility, and he's got three agility, so that is a three plus on that leap. Whereas the catcher's leap with the long long legs is actually with the with the agility is four, and then the long legs gives you the plus one, so it's a three plus. So the catcher it would be a three plus with the four agility, but then with the plus but with the long legs to give you the plus one to the leap, that gives you a two plus to that leap. So there you go. Usually watch me on YouTube. Oh, thank you very much, Quartermain. Oh, really appreciate you. Thank you for the kind words. Hey, well, you are part of the reason why I was able to get over a thousand subs on YouTube, I'm sure. So thank you so much for that. Really, really appreciate you, man. All right, so back to the game. Kislips did have some opportunity against the ball, but Orc Blitzer slips away, and it's gonna move along to the left side. More really stupid here from the troll, and that's not gonna help the troll out in his task to get some dashes off. But nonetheless, though, Black Orcs for this Orc team should be able to hold things up, maybe. And uh, Kislips. Trying to leap in there, never really out of position, are you? But got the leap, but didn't get the both down dice. Ouch. Gonna get hit back, and the mighty blow will produce a KO. Ouch. Or team is gonna love that because so far the first couple of turns has been a little bit difficult, but after that failed blitz, won't be able to get much and should be able to get him out of the left side here. Defender stumbles, get the hits off. I'm trying I'm for for my twitch cast I'm gonna try to do it on Sunday afternoons and so you guys can catch me at the uh, better times for for some of you guys that are out in the European hours but it's not always gonna happen some, I, might, I might have to get busy on some of the weekends but you never know and that's what that's my plan at least that's my plan orcs now is sur starting to surround up these kids of team Certainly, he's got one guy with tackle, but he doesn't need tackle for these other guys who do not have dodge. So, even though the catchers might be a little bit in for a good time, the rest of the team, maybe not so much. Oh, yes. I love this tame bear. Got the prehensile tail. Very similar to the croxagore. And... It's just so so threatening there. Five strength. Six movement mounts. Nine on the value. In fact, I think he is. He's basically a Crossagore. <laughs> Except in a bear outfit. That's what he really is. Kids lives are going to try to just stop her up the orc team. This is why we have an orc blitzer as the ball carrier, though. Loads of movement allows and he does have the plus one in movement allows, so seven Toto. So he's going to be alright with this. Orcs aren't going to be moving the ball up the pitch anytime soon. And again, if worse come to worst, use a wizard. But I don't know if you want to use the wizard here unless you can guarantee yourself the touchdown after the wizard usage. So we'll see about this. The Orcs really have equalized pretty well after that opening shenanigans done from the Blitz on the kickoff. Kislips are going to go back to playing some solid defense. You did see a little small glimmer of of aggression done by the Kislip team. That's that's the thing, right? And I have said this before in the past. Kislip 
A lot of people who play the Kislev team just tend to use the long legs and the and the leap a little bit too early, and that doesn't and that just it just gets their guys injured. It doesn't really use them at a good time. You just have to pick your moments. You have to make sure that you have a good follow up. It's very much akin to the wizard usage, right? You just can't willy nilly just use the wizard at any time. You use the long legs and the leap sparingly at most I'd say but there you go there's more aggression coming up and there he's gonna move in there we'll be able to blow and die blitz and we'll be able to just get the push oh man but with the frenzy follow-up and the two red die still gonna be a push but oh it is gonna be totally good enough here we'll be able to get a, another assistant for a two die block coming up and the catcher's gonna move away here, but man, oh man, here comes the two die blocked by the lineman here. Should maybe get another hit in? I don't know. Oh, he's not gonna do oh, okay. Well he, I guess not here. Did, did I Okay, he's not gonna get the hit in because the black orc with the guard and didn't wanna get the one die block going, get enough alert, I guess, but still. Won't follow up here, but still looking pretty good. Catcher gets himself into position, or should I say the ball carrier is going to get himself in better position after this push, and going to get the push here, and uh, going to get the block off here, black work is looking like he's going to take away this guy here after getting the block there done by the ball carrier, the finish stumbles, that's going to be good enough, we'll be able to clear the ball carrier, but now the orcs are in a little bit of trouble here, We'll be able to form up a neat little cage. I don't think he's going to be able to. And, oh, he's going to move the orc away before moving the troll. Uh -oh, no friend yet. No friend yet. I think I would have liked to use the troll before. But I guess maybe the troll is going to stand over here and watch over the bear. Looks like he is. But we should see another blitz here. Bonehead. Oh, he needed that bear to come in there. But we should see and maybe and more aggression done by the Kislev team. Here we go. More aggression. Will leap away. And he will get the blitz off. Defender down die this time. And there you go. Earlier he didn't do a one die block. But this time he's going to do it. And will get paid off here. Ball is going to fly out in a great spot for the Kislev team. Against a tackle zone, no problem. 3 plus pickup, we got the rock. And we're going to go way in the backfield. Turn 6 coming up for the Or team. And he's going to have to wrench the ball out of the hands here after maybe getting some blitzes on that on the catcher there. And catcher should be able to slip away. Kislev team, he gets the ball away. And that's what I'm talking about. Kislev team just ball hawking it. Everywhere you look, you're just never really safe. And the kids, those finally, the aggression is going to come true. And we'll be able to get that ball out. Death injury, though. Going to pay for it in blood, though, I think. And I should get the apothecary on the plus one in strength, man. But, oh, yes. This is what the orc team really needs. MNG, even, on the plus one in strength, lineman. Oh, gosh. The, the big star player, basically, and he's going to be out. He's got the tackle frenzy and the wrestle ability even, so that's a big miss right there. Won't be able to get him back into this game. At least the apothecary saved the death injury, but won't be able to save him for this game or even, even the next game if there's going to be any. Hopefully there is, though, because I would love to see some more Kislevs here in the next bit. Orcs. Looking pretty strong though, but with the ball being taken away now, and no real follow-up to use the wizard to get that ball away, and that's kind of why the Kislev team went all the way back there to keep the ball secure from anything. Orc now is just... I think I think it's going to be stoppered up, but we'll see how this Kislev team is going to orchestrate this offense. We'll do a blitz with the catcher with the one die. Wow. I guess he's got blocks, so not a big deal, but still. A little bit risky to do any one dies, I say. We'll move his guys up, get the screen up. I think he's I think he's okay with what we're seeing here. He's not gonna go for any of the offensive plays yet. He's gonna continue to hold the ball for as long as he possibly can. May even just bait out the wizard usage because 
If the wizard's gonna get used here by the orc team, then at least he won't be able to use it in the second half. But the wizard is gonna be baited out. But the lightning bolt is gonna be nullified by the one. Oh no, indeed not. Kiz lives. Gonna be surviving. The wizard gonna be used up. Veliopia's chances is dwindling. Oh, that, my friends, is the last straw right there. Skulls gonna be out. No more rerolls left. No more apothecary. No nothing. And orcs are in huge trouble now. If he doesn't get the ball back now, the Kizlos can easily win this one in the second half. I just don't see that. I just don't see this orc team stopping the offense with just one guy with tackle. So he needs to get this ball right here. He's gonna have to do another one die block though, I think. Uh, unless the Kislos wants to just jump away. Oh, he does have Dauntless. Okay, so there you go. Dauntless on that man will be able to get a two die block instead. Oh man, that's why you get Dauntless right there, guys. And he will get the block in here. We'll move in there. Very long list. Just two plus right there. Jumps away. Dodges three plus, two plus. And he will be able to get away with the pass. Robert Campin. Oh, he gets the pass off against two tackle zones. And he gets the touch. He gets the leap away. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. What am I seeing? What am I seeing? Magic. I think he has stolen some Minarian magic because he's done it. He's done it. The leap away. He's trying to get some help here. But the Blitz... By the blitz, it could still happen. Will be a two die blitz coming up if he can make the three plus dodge. Coming up, but no re rolls. So here's some more two die blocks. Gonna make the regular block before he does the risky dodge into that other catcher. The kids live. The BS is real, says Shatter Dice. Oh man, but the KO up top, that will at least pay for some reparations. But. Just a KO. Here's the blitz. There's the three plus. We'll be getting the two die blitz. And we'll be able to get the defender stumbles. But that's not good enough. He doesn't have tackle. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. Not enough guys with tackle. And the catchers can live free. And uh, not even die hard. Catcher. Just with the dodge ability. This is only a 1 in 36 chance of... Getting nuffled, but he's going to do the two die block and will get one in 36 there, but won't get uh, one in two, whatever, whatever, 1296. So, no one in 1296, and then the easy touchdown there by the end. Bright Northern Renaissance. One in 81. Oh, but no block or wrestle. Ah, okay. Good call, because this was a 1 in 9 chance of failing that. Good call there, Shadow Dice. Man, oh man, he walks in for the touchdown, though, afterwards. No 1 in 81. Wow. 1 to nothing, kills the team, and I just don't see how this Orc team can stop the offense. Because, like I said, these catchers... They have dodge and the leap. Only one guy would tackle and you're in trouble. So the Orc team gonna have to play some very aggressive defense now if he hopes to win this ball game. Kiss them, we're just gonna hold on to the ball as long as he can now, just play keep away. Oh, thanks for the cheer, Sambo Pate. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that, man. My throat is absolutely parched now after four games here, but man, what a quarterfinals! Kislevs doing it all, doing it all. What was all that madness about here? Gets the 
three plus pass, the three plus catch, two plus leap, two plus dodgies, whole bunch of go for it rolls. Partridge of the pear tree. Man. That, that's just the ending of it. He had to get the uh, he had to get the the first leap away and then the dodge. Oh yeah, well actually it didn't show the first leap. It showed the pass after the dodge, yeah. <laughs> Changing weather, but the dome's gonna save against that. Oh man, no catch there. And even though it said diving catch had activated, it I don't think it did actually, did it? Well actually it did, because it landed short, right? Oh it I don't know. I don't know where the ball landed, unfortunately. I can't I couldn't see the where it, where it landed. The kids of the team not gonna make any uh not not gonna not gonna waste any time. He's just gonna go ahead, get to the right side, open things up for this kids of the team, and then after that, pick this ball up, might actually give it to this catcher and go for the two move touchdown. Why not, I guess? After playing some superior defense, but don't forget that was kind of given to him by the blitz on defense, so he was able to play aggressively from the get-go. Catch is gonna get flubbed up, so use up the reroll right there. Catcher is going to move up, going to get a little bit of escort and get the bit of a side cage going. Not necessarily a side cage, a side screen I guess is the better term. But after the blitz by this orc blitzer here, should be able to turn this catcher right on back around. If anything, the Kislev team needs to kind of seal off the backside here if he hopes to turn back around. There you go. Get the dodge away and uh, seal off this lineman or this line orc here from dodging away and getting a blitz on the ball carry. So actually a pretty key, a uh, pretty key mark right there because line orc does have three agility, so could have actually maybe gone for that blitz there. The fitter down and a both down die would have been okay because he's got wrestle. So would he use wrestle on himself? I guess so. Here comes the blitz though. And it's going to be a juggernaut push. And uh, just to push away and going to just hang out for the time being. And just going to defend against the leap away. Will the catcher actually do it? I don't I don't know if the Kislev team is going to get the score off. But the way that this orc team has surrounded up this Kislev team, we might actually see the score coming up. But will he, will he tempt the 2 plus... The 2 plus, 2 plus, and then the 3 plus, 3 plus? I don't know. Let's see what he's got in the tank here. Kiss the team. Will he move back? Actually, you know what though? He could actually just jump. He can just jump over the line or dodge away. Get to the backfield, hand it off to this catcher right there, and then he goes the other way with it. So that might actually be a better play. Oh, there's the screen off. So already the screen's coming up. Here's the Blitz. He's got Dauntless, so there you go. We'll be able to get the Dauntless with the assist and get the two-die block in there. So here we go. So there, yeah, okay. So now we'll Blitz through. We'll be able to get the leap away into the open area and we'll get the touchdown. The Kislevs will score it early. Bright! Salute to you, my man. Two to nothing, Kislev team. And he's going to continue to play some... Defense, not afraid of the orc offense whatsoever. No holds here. He's not gonna hold the ball whatsoever. He just says, you know what? I'm gonna go up two to nothing and make the orc team prove it. And the orc team's gonna have to score it pretty quickly. Can they do it? That's gonna be the question. But does have the movement allowance seven with the plus one in straight blitz? Or so in the end, could actually go hog wild and maybe just go potato at the end and score it maybe two or three we'll see chorizo will he be able to get through i love these names tortellini pork loin i, I don't know why but i'm feeling hungry except for carcass <laughs> minced meat salami and spaghetti Good job. Good job for making me hungry, at least, Viliopia. Oh, 
Oh man, perfect defense. Just stay away from the troll, I guess. Let's have a black orc over here with the block and the mighty blow. So gotta watch out for that guy, but I guess nowhere else is safe. Might actually put him over here. There we go. There we go, guys. I feel much better now. Alright, so or team. He's going to have his chance now. Uh, hopefully get some more injuries here because he's going to need it. If he's going to get some injuries, then won't be able to get this 2-0. Uh, won't be able to square up this 2-0. Oh, that's not it right there. But that's it. Just a push, though. Orcs are going to have to try to make this touchdown in, I would say, by turn 13, maybe 12. He needs to get it back as soon as he possibly can because Kislev's... Like I said, on offense, just too much, and that's probably why the Kislev team actually scored it, because Orc team is going to have to play very very quickly here and get the score, and then after that, this Kislev team will get the ball back, and like I said before, nobody would tackle. These catchers can just run amok. I mean, just <laughs> everywhere they go, like, yay, I can go anywhere I want, and you can't stop me. He's got blinds for them all, I think, except for this guy with wrestle, but still, I mean... It's it's just such a tough time for him. You can only count on the defender down die. And uh, that doesn't come up as often as you might think. And heck, the way this game is going, Kizov might not just let go of the gas. He might continue to still play aggressive defense. Get to that ball. And uh, just make things happen. I mean, this is why we play Kislev, right? It's for fun. Until things aren't so fun. But still. And here comes the two-die block here on the left side or right side. Let's stay. Get the screen off here. The bear holding up this troll. Should be able to get the two-die block on the line or to the side, I'd say. Just have to deal with guard, but uh, five strength. Should still be a two-die block. But no, doesn't want to use him. I guess doesn't want to chance the bonehead. Or maybe he's used him already. I don't know. <laughs> At this point, I'm just like, huh, did he use him now or not? I, I wasn't even watching this. But I don't think he used him. I'm pretty sure I saw a regular circle underneath him. Get the blitz here. Or team, like I said, needs to play speedy. No. And uh, we'll move his orc up and uh, try to score it by turn 13, if anything. That's the latest, I'd say. I think that's the latest. If you do it by turn 14, I think that's a little bit too late. Because then you have to get the ball back. And then try to score it at that point. But it'll be a lot more difficult. You need to give yourself at least some breathing room. Because there's, I was saying maybe he'd get some aggression going, but it looks like he's just going to play it solid. Just, this, this is definitely the proper play right here. You just want to slow up the Orc team as much as possible to hammer down the 2-1 win at worst. So this is precisely what the Kislev team needs to do here. No need to get aggressive and jump into the backfield for any crazy one die blocks or even, you know, two red die blitzes or anything like that. No. None of that jazz. I think just dodge your way here. And, uh, you know, no need to use any rerolls here either. Will get himself stunned though. He actually dodged this way, so I guess he probably just wanted to maybe just hang back here. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure where he was going with that. But maybe he was going to try for some aggression after putting the front line up to slow him up. But with the blitz here on the right side. We'll move his guys along the right side here. Should be able to put up some sort of try for the touchdown. Side cages aren't good though because he does have leap. So I'm not sure what this orc blitzer is going to do. So he's going to move up here and get supported by the guard line orc. And then the guard black orc I guess. It looks like that is going to be the case. But with the guy with tackle and wrestle. 
And maybe even the Dauntless ability. Yeah, he should be able to get... Uh, he should actually be able to get... I mean, even with the two red die block, who cares, right? Uh, let's see here. Is, is this a... Let's see here. So the Dauntless is going to play. The Dauntless is going to play. But he needs to get a two... He needs to get... Uh, he needs to get a whole... He needs to get a really good roll on the Dauntless. Before he gets the... Added strength needed to level up, but then no, it's gonna be two red die. Yeah, and he did get the three plus. But uh, yeah, wow, he gets the two red die block anyways. Defender down and the defender stumbles. Oh man, what great dice here! Two red die working out well for him. And the ball, I guess, lands in the best spot possible for the orc team. Well, maybe not because this would have been a better spot here on the ten right there, but. This is still an okay spot for the Zork team. So, unless the leap is good, but it's still going to be marked up again after that push. So, I don't think there's going to be a ball try. But I think damage has already been done. We'll stop up the Orc team from getting his touchdown on turn 13 like I keep tooting. And uh, we'll actually stop him up for at least another turn here. What great two red die block right there. Huge. But the ball coming out in a really great spot for the work team. I think the 10 would have been a better spot, but this still was a great spot. Because the team won't be able to pick that ball up against three guys marking it, much less dodging in or even leaping in. You don't use the leap once, so you leap in there, but now you can't leap out. <laughs> so here we go. After getting stopped up, turn 13, three die block. Should be able to get his man with the sure hands to pick this ball up once again. And just hold it for the moment. So, turn 14 is going to be the earliest you can score it now. And, uh, oh, thanks so much for that host, Durin. Oh, I need to I need to inflate those. I need to inflate the text here because I can't see it. Durin, thank you so much for that host, my friend. I really appreciate that. Black Orc with the mighty blow hit. Finally, but... Or team, that's that's actually the one thing that we're missing here. Kislev team, not going out with a lot of injuries there. And there are back-to-back on value breaks at least. But man, this is coming in way too late. But just some stuns, I guess. Oh, actually, the injury box over here. Did get a few KOs in the injury, but man, not a lot of them, I'd say. Catcher, it's going to go here in the background. Tie up this line orc, so is he going to get some aggression? I guess so. And so, long legs jump in there. Gonna miss the first two plus, but gonna get the second one. Dodge away. We'll get the blitz in there after getting the assist. Leap in there once again. Two plus with the two red die. The Dauntless failed, so it would have been a one die block, but gonna fail there. Strip ball, but he's got the sure hand, so it's gonna guard against there. And we'll be able to get the push here, but the Or team now should be able to get paid off here. Just the team's getting out of town. They're checking out, boys. They are checking out. They're like, okay, um, that little aggression. That was it. That was it. You should be hosting me. I got more first round picks right than you. <laughs> you sure did, Duren. You sure did. Hey, man. I was going to host you. I'm actually about to get done here. I'm, this is the last game that I can cast. So... If you start your game up again, I'll I'll host you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but no, thanks so much for that host, Duren. Yaroslav Lazarev. He's going to go down to that mighty blow hit and walk it in for the touchdown. But is it going to be a little bit too late? Is it going to be too late? I'm not sure here. Yeah. Offline. I'm not offline. Food must enter your face. Yeah, I hear you. It's only 4 o'clock for me, man. I will be back later on to play some other games. So if you guys out there that just enjoys VGP in general, then uh, I'll be on a little bit later on to play some games. Somebody tell Russian Reb that, th that this thing is on. Somebody tell Russian Reb we are on and we are live, baby. Or team has just scored it and needs to play way aggressive. But he scored it on turn 14. And uh, 
He's gonna need something now. He's gonna need something big. Kislev's with the rock. I don't know. I mean, he's got two turns. I mean, honestly, he gets the ball kick. I, I think this is, this is just about GG. I think the only thing now that can save the Orc team is going to be a blitz. And not a real good chance of that happening. A blitz. Or, no, not even not even a... Well, well it could get a, could get a right and then gain a turn, right? That'll help. But a blitz would be a little bit better. But a quick snap. And that's too bad. So the orc team, the guy's going to catch the ball and then run to the back back line here and make the orcs prove it. But I think in two turns, by the time he gets there, the orcs like huffing and puffing. Uh, 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 can I get there? No. Time ran out. I'm going to get it on the, on the fly too. So Kislevs just needs to put a big old screen up. And then after that, just keep this guy... Way back here, hell, he, he's just gonna keep the guy right there. Why not? Same difference, I suppose. Get a whole bunch of screen up. Orc team is gonna have to play aggressive. Gonna have to, I think, dodge through some tackle zones as well. And uh, try to get there. But the tackle blitzer is way in the back, so I don't even think the Orc team seriously thinks they can get to the ball. But at this point, might as well try for something. Two turns left. Leaves the tackle blitzer way in the backfield to kick the ball, I guess. Somebody's got to kick it. But the Kislev team is going to be on their way for this W. Wow. Some good old-fashioned elf screening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, and there's no way that he can do it in two turns. I mean, the orc team gets close, and then he just... Flutters off to this back end there, and I would say he would have a small glimmer of hope if he had the tackle blitzer up here, and then maybe he just you know dives through the tackle zones, get there, and then maybe get the blitz off. But with him just hanging out in the backfield like that, I don't even think our team is seriously trying to get to that ball. Looks like he's gonna try it anyways, I guess, but he's way out. He's not even in range, so. Again, the catcher could just hang out by the sideline here, and he's going to be all right from this aggression. There you go. I guess it's going to be the line orcs making the uh, the try, but not going to get through. And so that will end all hopes here. Catcher just needs to be in the back right side and save against anything from the orc team. But it uh, looks like Blitzers... Or actually, the Blitz is going to get Blitz. The Blitzer is going to get Blitzed. Okay, there we go. There you go. He's going to hang out there by the back right. As I said, nobody can catch up to him. And that's GG. Thanks so much, guys, for joining me. If you guys enjoyed what you've seen here and you haven't followed, please, for the love of all, Nuffle, please follow along on my Twitch channel out there. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. Helps me out, gets, keeps me going at night when I look at all my subscribers and I just go, wow, I have totally done it. So for all of you who have subscribed and who have followed along, thank you. I could not be here without any of you. So definitely a, my big heartfelt thanks to you guys. Bucket Bong, thanks for following along. Really appreciate you guys. Defender down die. But the tame bear, is he really so tame when he bashes like this? Two to one is the ending and the Kislev team, due to the wild aggression, is able to make the most of it. Get the ball steal in the first half and that, my friends, is that Kislev's move on. That's the difference here. Dice rolls, let's just take a quick look at him. Northern Renaissance. Leaps were just about good. Only failed five times. 75% chance on those leaps. Pretty good stuff here. Catches also good as well. Go for it rolls. Only failed two of them. When you get these types of rolls here, just so good. That's all you really need. All you need is the five pluses here. And got 41 out of them. It's just so many good rolls here. Got a lot of ones actually, and a lot of twos as well, but. In the end, Kislev's got the rolls when they need it. You didn't really see them get nuffled. 
at any real moment. Yeah, I'll show you the Kislev team here after that. Let's take a look. And as you see there, it's going to be Mana J3 taking on Chaos Dwarf Team of Laugh Vienna. And then Kislev is taking on the Dwarf Team. So two teams that you don't normally see the semifinals in there. Let's take a look here at the Kislev Team of Northern Renaissance. Where are they at? Did I pass them up? Hmm. I think I did. There they are. Take a look here. Kiss the team. They're, they're going to be out there. Big ball hawk here. Plus one is strength, tackle, and wrestle due to that MNG, the frenzy. So this big big hitter here it's gonna be out but man he still got the rest of his team still very dangerous indeed and gonna make the dwarf team this time pretty difficult and like I said dwarves they get a little bit out position and that's all it takes and so the dwarf team is gonna have a very difficult time keeping these catchers under wraps I mean they do have lots of guys with tackle but can they actually catch up to them with their Dwarven slow movement allowance and that's gonna be the question right there and because of that despite having down this lineman right here I'm gonna to have to choose this Kislev team to take out this Dwarf team afterwards although I do like Aidan's play very solid indeed but man Kislev team like I said at the higher TVs and after they get a bunch of level ups just so difficult to, spot, to stop Kizzle team does move on past the orcs and uh, will keep my pick alive and 50% on the semi or, or actually in the quarterfinals and in the semifinals hopefully I'll be able to keep that flavor up but I'm kind of picking teams that are like boy I'm picking the halfling and the Kislevs in the final what but yeah I mean definitely I mean that's that's definitely the thing right there Northern Renaissance. Wrestle, strip ball, dauntless catcher with the tackle ability. I mean, that's dangerous right here. I'm sure he's going to be down in movement allowance, but who cares? He's just jumping in there anyways. Yeah, Lockstar, I picked you. Ha ha. Ha ha. No, I won't be. I won't be wrong any longer. I know, I picked against you every round. Reserve jinx, you have to you have to unjinx the jinx, Black Star. Tame bear with a stand firm and the guard ability. I mean, he's got some pretty darn good weapons. Still wrestle, got plus one in strength. I mean, he's, these other linemen, they're just fodder at this point. I mean, I, I think I think the kids of team, all you really need again, block and wrestle for your guys. Once you have that, suddenly they become a, a pretty threatening team. Let's see here. What, what have what have you, what's what's the uh, what's the old Diom Lord got? Did he get any cool level ups? Let's see here. He's got mighty blow there. I mean, he's just got one guy with mighty blow. <laughs> And everybody else does not have it. So, I mean, if anything, this is... If you were facing against Crucifer's team, I would totally pick against you. But, I mean, Diamond Lord doesn't have enough in the tank. This claw is useless against Halfling team. Well, I guess maybe not absolutely useless because they can do it against the Treants. But, I mean, they they don't have a lot of guard up front, you know? So, I mean, I don't even think they could stand up against the Treants even. Keep playing the way you keep playing, buddy. You got it. Squirrel dude, I am done casting. I've done I have done all of the quarterfinals. So you've missed all of my cast for the last three and a half hours. So yeah. Uh, I mean Diam Lord doesn't have anything, I think. I, th I I actually I despite everything, I actually like the halfling team to win. 
You were dealing with GOG? Oh, man. Well, hopefully you, you get what you want, my friend. Alright, so that's it, guys. Thanks so much again for coming along and watching all of the Champions Cup with me. All of the replays, semi-finals action. If they all get done by Sunday before then, I will cast it on Sunday at the... I'll be casting it again at the same time here. About 1 o'clock my time. I don't know what that is, GMT or anything like that, but it'll be in the evening time for you Euro guys watching out there. So you can watch the semi-finals. Hopefully, they'll be playing it before Sunday. Hopefully. As you can see from the semi-finals, it is going to be the Halfling team taking on the Chaos Dwarf team, Dion Lord taking on Lockstar, and then Kislev team of Bright against the Dwarf team of Adot. So both of these matchups, not necessarily the best for for either side, actually. I mean, Halflings playing against the Chaos Dwarf team without much Mighty Blow and not much guard up the front line. I mean, this is, this is a dream matchup, I think, after going against the Necro team. And then after going against the Dark Elf team and hell, even the Norse team that was just so dangerous here. But Norse team not necessarily playing the ball, it's just like, I'm gonna go injure halflings. Got a little bit, uh. <laughs> went, went a little bit, uh. Too hog wild. Whereas the Kislevs looks pretty good, but down there, big ball hog, but still does have other weapons and the Dwarven team could get outmaneuvered and outplayed by the Kislev team so I mean that's why I like those guys as well so there's my picks here you guys can also follow along here on Solange.com CCCX playoffs and uh, you guys can just sign in get an account going and put your own votes in there and you'll see if the crowd is right so definitely I invite you guys in there and with that Thanks again for joining me, guys. So, more VGP a little bit later on as I cast some other games. And I'm just going to be playing. I'm just going to be having fun later on tonight. But for the rest of you guys that just watched me for Blood Bowl, thanks again for joining me. And we'll see the semifinals on Sunday, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, have a good time. And uh, see you guys next time. <laughs>